here is our camper and our porch and whenever we pull up this is the first thing that you see whenever we get to the campground the first thing we do is get our golf carts out because those are the best mode of transportation at the campground that's mine with the camouflage and that's my husband's the little black sports wagon looking thing and uh, we use both of them usually whenever we're down here and here's what Buddy does. He is ready for the weekend, and he's ready to get out on the golf cart and ride and go say hello to everybody. He's looking out the windows, trying to see who's out there riding by on their golf carts. He is so funny. And, of course, Dolly's not far behind him. She's got to figure out when she can go to. And he is ready to go. Look at that baby. He is the sweetest dog, I tell you what. And... So funny. Since this is 4th of July weekend, there are a lot of people on the beach area. We were just riding by where the boats are, and you can see how many are out there. And, of course, this is the sound system my husband has in mind. And here is the point whenever you come up the boat dock area. And this is where you'll see a little bit more later on. And look at all the people with their boats. There were a lot of boats out on the water that day and a lot of traffic. And here is the other boat launch area. Again, lots of boats, lots of people. It was quite crowded that weekend, but still relaxing. We were just riding around, seeing how many people were out there, what was going on. And of course, right there's the beach area. Um, and this is before the crowd actually got out there. And, of course, the 4th of July can't happen without a golf cart parade. Everybody that wants to participate decorates their golf cart. There are prizes for the different ones, and I'm showing you some of the top ones that came through. And then they just basically ride through the main drag area and throw out candy for the kids. Everybody loves it. It's just a tradition Three years ago, we came for the first time to look at our place at Twin Harbors during the 4th of July golf cart parade. So this does bring back some memories whenever we first started our adventures here at Twin Harbor. And this group, you'll see a little bit later, they opened up a little stand. And here is the group that was on one of the floats. They have opened up, I think it is a icy stand for anyone who wants an icy. I took a moment out of our weekend to go off to the point and sit and relax and just take in the beautiful breeze and the beautiful scenery. Um, I do this occasionally whenever I just want to get somewhere and just totally relax. And I had another purpose for coming. I needed to do my monthly menu plan, and there's my planner that I use, and I just needed to sit down and be away from all the distractions and do my monthly menu plan, but look at that view. You cannot beat it. And here is a picture of my cooking station from the front. You'll get to see a little bit more of it later in the video. Okay, I'm here at my cooking station at the camper. Um, and I went to Dollar General the other day, and look what I found. Some really cute towels that say chilling and grilling. I got the matching um, pot holders and the matching gloves. Aren't they adorable? I figured they would look really good out here at the camper. I got two spatulas so I can make some smash burgers. I found some corn on the cob prongs. Don't make corn on the cob a lot, but when I do, I do need some, and I've got some at the house. A spoon holder and a plate that I can put, like, my jalapeno poppers on so they don't fall through the grate, but still get a lot of the heat and goodness from the grill. And here is my bar area. Not that we do a lot of drinking right here, but we can sit, have somebody sit while I'm cooking. And then I do have... A little gazebo there's my light I put together and right here's our 
kitchen table under the gazebo whenever we come out here and eat at night and relax. And this is looking through my kitchen window at the camper. Danny's out there at the little bar area, sitting back, listening to music, reading his phone, and just chilling out. And here is the actual cookout. Um, I had Sam and Ron up. You'll see them here in a minute. Uh, I did some hamburgers, hot dogs, a couple of jalapeno poppers, and we just sat back, relaxed, and ate a good meal. There's Sammy Joe. There's my husband, Danny, and Ron, who doesn't want to be on camera. And, of course, here's what we had. Hot dog chili and slaw and hot dogs, jalapeno poppers, hamburgers, and Sammy made some potato salad and, of course, baked beans. And ending this video, I'm going to leave you with a nice, relaxing view of the point. Until next time, see you then. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos.